to James River Kids Online. We are super excited that you're here with us today. If it's your first time joining us, let us know. You can click the link below and you're gonna get this envelope and we're gonna stuff it full of stuff. <laughs> we can't wait to meet you and get to know you. And today we're welcoming you back for another week of Season of Giving. Yes. So we've been talking all about what God's word says about giving and today we're learning that God loves when we give our best. Which reminds me of a story. Did you know one time I made a sock monkey for Ooh, my mom? Sock monkey. I made it myself, but it was a little bit crooked and the tail didn't fit all the way on. For some reason she loved it though. I think it's because I did my best. Well, Pastor Maddie, I love that story so much. And you know, I'm super excited to learn what it means for us to give God our best. And so right now, are you ready? The Bible is God's word. <laughs> Hey friends, Pastor Cammie here, and I'm so excited that you're here too, because we're about to jump into God's word. Here we go. Today, we are looking in the book of Mark, which is in the New Testament, and we're looking at chapter 12, and it's a story about a widow. Lean in and listen, here we go. It says in verse 41, Jesus sat down near the collection box, which means he was by where they dropped their offering. The collection box is where they collected the offering and his disciples were with him. Many rich people put in large amounts of money into the collection box. Then a poor widow came along and dropped in two small coins, like itty bitty, teeny tiny, two little coins. But I love what happens next. Are you ready for this? It says in verse 43, Jesus called his disciples to him and said, come here, come here, guys, you gotta come over here. You're never gonna believe what just happened. I tell you the truth, this poor widow has given more than all the others in making their contributions, for they gave a tiny part of what they had and she gave all that she had. Isn't that amazing? I mean, Jesus stopped everything right there called his disciples to him and said, you have got to see this. That's pretty amazing. And I've got these jars here to kind of help us look at it another way. Here is our offering bucket. And we're gonna say these two jars represent two different people. Person A and person B. And they both had things that they wanted to give in their gift. Person A, said, I've got five items I can give. And do you know what they chose to give? All five. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. They gave all that they had. Person B, they had lots of things that they could give. So many things. And they looked at what they had and they said, I know I'm gonna give eight things to the Lord in my gift. Count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's fantastic. So we have someone who gave all, they gave five, someone who gave eight from what they had. My question for you is this, tap your brain, think about it. Who gave more? If you said the person who gave eight, ding, 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 you are correct. But I have a second question for you. Which person gave their best? Think about it. You're right. If you said the person who gave five, they gave their best. It's wonderful that this person gave, but they had a lot more they could have given. They gave what they felt like in their heart they should give, and that's great. This person literally gave all that they had. They said, God, here you go. I'm giving you my best, and God loves it when we give to him he loves so much when we listen with our heart. God, what would you like me to give? It might be one, it could be three things, it might be five, it might be eight, it could be 20. But whatever it is that God speaks to your heart about to give and you give it to the Lord, then that's your best and he loves it so much. Friends, thanks for joining us today and I can't wait to hear what you do when God speaks to your heart to give. See you next time. 
Hey boys and girls, we're here to teach you today's big idea. This series has been all about the season of giving, so we've been giving away some really fun things. Mm -hmm. Like the first week we got to give coffees to people, Yum. last week we got to give cookies to some kids, and oh, this so week good. we gave away something amazing. I can't wait to tell you all about it. But before we show you, let's learn today's big idea. Okay. Today's big idea is God, God loves when we give our best. best. That was awesome. We are so excited to tell you about the thing we gave away this week. Last week, we were able to share 14,000 Thanksgiving meals with the people in our community and celebrate Thanksgiving with them. It was so much fun. Check this out. Wow, that was so much fun, giving God our best and sharing with our community. Man, I know for a fact I probably could have eaten all 14,000 of those meals. <laughs> well, I'm glad you did it. Kids, we are going to go ahead and practice that big idea at least three more times. Let's do it together. Stand up on your feet. Are you ready? Here we go. God, God loves when we give our best. best. Awesome job. You know what? I think we should do it like we're making a Thanksgiving meal. <gasps> that so is put so your fun. aprons on. Here we go. All right. I'm going to cook the turkey, okay? okay? I'm cooking mac and cheese. All right. Here we go. God <laughs> loves <laughs> when we give <laughs> our <laughs> best. Great job, kids. Okay, one of the things that our family likes to do on Thanksgiving is the turkey trot. So this one, I think we should be running in place as we go. Are you ready? Here we go. God, God loves when, when we, we give, give our, our best. Nice Woo. Job. Okay, that was fun and I, I might be sweating a little bit, but one of my favorite things to eat on Thanksgiving is turkey. So what if we said it like turkey? Gobble, gobble, gobble. Okay, gobble, gobble, gobble. here we go, ready? Gobble, gobble, gobble. 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 Bye! Gobble gobble!
Kids, thanks for joining us for another awesome week here on James River Kids Online, all about the season of giving. We've had so much fun, and guess what? You can hang out with us every single week. We're gonna be doing this again next week, but if it's your first time here, make sure you fill out that form beneath us so that you can get your packet in the mail. And Pastor Maddie, speaking of next week, next week we start a brand new series all about Christmas! Christmas, Whoa. I love Christmas! We're so excited to celebrate Christmas with you, so join us next week for Christmas at James River Kids. Bye! See ya!